the screen. Okay? Need help. My name is Joe Guderez, and I need some help. My swag has been off lately, and I need some fucking help. I lost most of my hoes recently because I put all of them into one group chat, and they found out they were related. What? Suck my dick. Damn, you! Damn, he was hey, fucking he, the whole please, family? I just want some group chat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, that's the homie Burwater from Big Chief. <laughs> no! You do that! No! They're trying to scare no. me on the show! <laughs> Hey, yo, explain yourself. Yo. Explain yourself, bro. Who, who put that up bro, there? Bro, explain yourself, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? That was hilarious. Okay. Once, five, stole them 20s. Looking dumb in the club, throw no money. Didn't want me, it's so funny. Now nah, they get killing, go get her or go for me. I done made a couple of hundred through pandemic. Hard six, Vegas like P, no damn limit. Yo, ass nigga, money was short, that damn midget. Lifestyle rubbers won't work, I can't fit it. Then he plus the fuck a Netflix. Get it on the prompt and I'm hitting the next bitch. Bitch, your last nigga don't exist. What's going on, guys? Big Chief here. Welcome back to another episode of To Be Blunt. I'm here with your co-host. Look at that. DJ Birdwater. Blowing those old game on point. Pause. Birdwater in the building. You already know the vibe. What's good? Let's get to it. Took this a little is coffee, my, bro. This is my last Friday of Ramadan. This episode will be oh, yeah, airing on yeah, Monday, yeah. which is my last day of Ramadan. Literally just broke my fast right now. Lit my blunt right here. Hey, uh, Aldo, can you get my coconut juice so I can stay hydrated if you don't mind? Or Max, <coughs> what are y'all? Bro, did it. Bro Man, made it I've to been the like, finish line. I'm almost there. 26 days, 27 days in, 26 days. Uh-huh. Uh huh. By the time you see this, I'm gonna be completing my whole task. And yeah, back to it. Discipline over. Y'all been sticking with me through Ramadan, so I appreciate y'all. Mm -hmm. How's your week, Joe? It's been good, bro. Chilling. Uh, I, I don't do know. It. I feel like this week was a little like. Oh, what is that? Coconut water. Oh, coconut water. Put the lime in the coconut. <laughs> Say the last part. Say the last part. What? Say the last part. Put the lime in the coconut in. And shake it, mix it all up, or shake it all up, right? Or what I is thought it? you were gonna say drink it all up. I was gonna say pause. <laughs> oh. is it, what is it? Shake it all up? I don't fucking know. No, I don't fucking know either. But where is that from, anyways? I don't. Uh, it's from a song, I guess. Where's yeah. that from? No, Put it's from a, a movie. In the coconut and shake it all up. I think it's from a movie. Um, but anyways, no, I had a good week, bro. Productive. Um, got some new merch coming out. I, found, I finally found these because I've been saying I want these Letterman jackets for so long, bro. And I finally found like real leather, bro. How do you look? Song. <laughs> got coconut. It's from a movie. <coughs> nah, it's a it's an old song. Oh, okay, okay. From 2005. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, bro, I found I finally found like some new real leather for the varsity jackets that we're making. Got some new merch coming, long sleeve and shit like that, like heavy material. And just been trying to be productive, bro. Get shit, get shit, uh, get shit going type shit, bro. And then also, too, like... I told you I'm gonna start streaming, bro. So I just been getting everything in order. Nice. And I'm I've been playing and just get, trying to get better every day. So when I do start streaming, there, no one's gonna be like, "Yo, Burwater's trash, bro." <laughs> hey, and then and funny thing is the new Call of Duty map, bro. They they dropped a new skin character. That's a pigeon, bro. It's a fucking pigeon. I'll send a video so they can post it. It's actual it. pigeon. Yeah, you want to so see it? So you gonna play with the pigeon the whole day? Yeah, Burwater. <laughs> Look, I'll just show you, but we'll have them it's post right it. right here. You don't got to show me anything. You can ask him. He'll pull oh, it Oh, yeah. Look at that shit. Oh, fuck. It's yeah, a real pigeon. Yeah, it's a real pigeon, bro. So that's going to be you? <laughs> that's me right now. Look at that. That's me right now. And then my name is Burwater. That's really good. Yeah, bro. I like that. So, yeah, it, it kind of goes. That's one of the best things you ever done. It's, it, it goes, <laughs> and I can't, I can't wait to start streaming. You, but You've been playing video games for a while. It just makes sense for you to do this. Yeah. No, like, not a while, bro. Just off and Call on. Call of Duty? Yeah. No, I, years, I started how many playing. How have you been playing Call of Duty? It was the first time you even touched Call of Duty. Uh, Probably when I was, like, early 20s, mid-20s. So you've been playing Call of Duty for a decade. Not yeah, consistently, but not but consistent because like I, I took I took like a couple year break. Then I jumped on when you guys were when you were running it. Remember that thing's called the Beak. Beak. <coughs> the Is gun's that? called the Beaks. Oh shit! That comes with it. That's lit. I didn't even know that skin that camel comes Songbird? with it. Songbird. <laughs> That's dope. What else they got? What else they got? That's it. Songbird. They got Snoop Dogg in that bitch now. They been had Snoop Dogg. Oh, they brought him back. I didn't know. Oh. I haven't played that long. Yeah. But anyways, bro. But oh, sorry, sorry. So 
I kind of took breaks and I'm back on, but you know, people really ask me. I kind of low key about it, other than like my homies and shit. But I really just started playing, bro, because I stopped going out. Like, I need something for me to do at night. If I can't go out, I don't want to just sit there and watch movies or binge watch anything. Like, I want to be able to do something. So late at night, I just run run the game because I you can't sleep. Late at night, late at night. Yeah, late, 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 late at night. Like. After nine, after ten. There's people up right now, but just realize you're in the West Coast, and yeah. then New York is three hours ahead. To, uh, mm. Texas two hours ahead too. Yeah. So by the time you're playing right now at night, it's like morning time in New York. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I'm I'm gonna be streaming anywhere from like four to six hours. You know what I mean? Maybe in Nigeria they'll be up. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's cool. Like you just, you know, I'm gonna try to get some of the homies on. You know, use people that I know that stream, trying to get them on. You know, collab shit like that. Oh, that's good that you've been reproductive. Just other outside. shit, bro. I feel like I, it was good that I supplemented, substituted going out with some, it's like a little hobby. And now I'm going to kind of take it to the next level and see what happens with it. You know, everyone's streaming right now. I feel like I'm I'm a character enough to, you know, be entertaining and interested or have people interested, you know? And yeah, it's Personality. Just, yeah, personality. Yeah, yeah. And then I ordered a couple of pictures, like shit like that for the background. I'm turning a whole... A uh, man cave into the fucking, you know, just going dope. all out. Should be dope, bro. But it's cool. How, are you gonna start the office stream anytime soon? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm just finishing for 420 to go past and my new products to come in. Mm -hmm. China had a little uh, delay, so yeah. 420 is the biggest holiday of yeah. the year, and then pretty much majority of the stuff that comes into the cannabis industry we get it directly from China. Not not a little bit, all of it, majority of it. You know what I mean? Except for the actual cannabis mm -hmm. stuff. So all the packaging and stuff and the hardware has to come from China. They said it was going to be on the 31st. We were going to make it on 420 on time. Then they said it was on the 13th. Oh, then they shit. said it was on the 18th of April. And then, so it made me miss 420. But I still have all these things going on for yeah. 420 that it didn't really ruin my plan. Yeah, yeah. But uh, honestly, just preparing for 420, I added 10 new dispensaries this week too. Mm -hmm. uh, picking a big chief and I'm picking up more every, every day. Uh, <clears throat> gonna be in New York. If you're gonna be in New York, come fuck with me on 420. I'm doing something special, so you stay posted at Big Chief and at the Chief and at Big Chief Extracts. Stay on that, and then you'll see what we're doing on uh, New York. We're also doing an event in Miami and Texas too. And then I'm doing deals all across California with a majority of the retailers uh, carrying Big Chief. And then I got them doing deals. deals. 420 deals. So if you're in California, go, you go Big uh, get Big Chief. I'm showing love back to the community on that aspect, mm -hmm. but. Truly excited just to go up to New York and experience uh, 420 there because I've never done 420 in New York. And honestly, it's going to be so exciting because all my friends be hitting me. They're like, what are you doing for 420? I'm like, I'm in going to New York. They're like, me too. Yeah. And then we also got invited to an event called the Billy Goat Awards. So the, for the goats, the Billy Awards. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, we got chosen to do that. Dope. So Hell we're yeah. just going to, I'm just going to hopefully I go up there and they give me a a billy goat yeah, award yeah. and i'm like big chief yeah you guys help me do it type shit hopefully you know yeah. what i mean Pray that'd for be me. that'd be exciting as fuck bro for real yeah <coughs> whole new experience and shit bro that's dope hey but anyways talking about just getting into the bag bro yeah i i, I always wait to save this i cannot not save this talk about this so like or i guess this week there was a facility uh storage facility in silmar california I was in Silmar this week, but I didn't uh -huh. do this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, it was a heist for thirty million dollars yeah. at a uh, at a cash grab, and they did it on Easter. Oh shit! And they didn't find out till Monday morning they got their shit stolen. Oh fuck! They, they made a hole in the wall. They got through. Yeah. They did all that stuff. Hey, all the go look at the details how they stole all that shit. But pretty much, they stole thirty million dollars of cash from yeah. a cash warehouse for a money storage warehouse in yeah. LA. How do you do that without getting caught? Inside job, bro. That's you got, what I was fucking you, saying. You got to know where it's at. You got to know when to do it. You got to know, like, when the best time is. And honestly, the only way to know that is if you know the schedule, the systems, how everything works, when money is kept in, who's going to be there, when everyone's leaving. Holidays is usually, I feel like, the best time to do shit. So they enter the uh, they enter the roof. They pass the alarm. They uh, cut ceiling access. Uh, they got they cut the ceiling and got access to the vault. Uh -huh. And then it broke a uh, wall. And then they loaded the money in the uh, truck and it dipped off. Yeah. Look at where's that. It, where's it to that wall? Look, they, broke, they cut the wall Damn. up and did that. No, that's this smart, looks professionally bro. as fuck, huh? Yeah, that's smart as fuck. Are they going to make a movie about this? Because this was the biggest heist like in Los Angeles. To. Yeah, I feel like they have to. And honestly, like, 
Shit, man. They got away with it. Shout out to them, bro. It's fucked up. It wasn't my money, but fuck them. 666,000 pounds, 66,000 pounds of, uh, of money. Damn. <laughs> You're like, damn. Damn. So $30 no, million dollars is 66,000 pounds. A movie's coming for sure, bro, but... Honestly, I mean, you got to obviously see that they're smart and this ain't their first their first time doing it, bro. And it's right there next to the highway. That's an easy getaway. You motherfuckers in L.A. are crazy. Yeah. First, y'all start stealing statues and shit. Remember, we started talking about that. <laughs> now y'all break into the money facility. Yeah. Bro, where's the security at? I don't know what's going on, bro. Look, it's to the fact that Remember we talked about how the economy is not backed by gold, it's backed by just printing paper up and it makes mm -hmm. inflation higher. Yeah. And then that creates more crime, bro. Yeah. People need money because people are broke. But when exactly. the streets are broke, the streets go wild. Yeah. When the streets are fed, the streets are good. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not the best, but they're the right now, uh, like are you looking at Los Angeles? It's wild. Yeah. But if you move correctly, have good security, and really do your job, I don't know how they didn't protect that fucking right. facility and how easy it was to even get past the gates to go. How'd they even get past security to yeah, go into the bro. into the lot? They got to have, and, and it looks like it's a Brink, uh, Brinks truck facility, bro. They got to have better, they should have had that in steel walls, bro, not fucking cement, bro. Do you think it's insured? Yeah, yeah, for sure. These businesses have to have insurance. But at the end of the day, that's just going to take money out of a different bank, and then we're going to be in more debt than we are We're still right a $30 now. million dollar debt because of that. Yeah. But hopefully it's but, been $30 million into the economies. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess I could say the good news is no one got hurt. How do you know? It didn't say no one died. It didn't say anything. Former bank robber who robbed 30 banks is talking about this. Like, um, But anyways, yeah. bro, like, okay, not saying you do this. How would you rob the bank? <laughs> like that? <laughs> I would try to do it in a way where less is seen. Like that? So cut I, the ceilings? So if I could go under, underground, I'll go underground. If I could go on the roof, I'll go on the roof. Because at the end of the day, you just need to get in there. And then exiting is like a short amount of time. You got to think reaction time. Nowadays, people are scared. They wait on cops. Cops could take anywhere from three to five minutes. You could be gone by then. Depending on the area, three to five hours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but That's I mean, in L.A. I wouldn't rob anything, but if I did, it definitely want to be at least around that amount or more. I feel like anyone that robs anything for under a million, you're stupid as fuck. You're stupid as fuck, bro. Bro, like, how professionally do you have to organize this and put it together and execute it and not get caught? Yeah. They hey, catch, did they, they didn't catch the people. Did they do it at nighttime? Yeah, it was on Easter Sunday. Damn, bro. When everyone was at Easter. Yeah, with their family. Damn, stealing on holidays? Yeah, see, wild. look, a Brinks truck type of company. <clears throat> Um, honestly, bro, what would you do if you were, let's just say you're shopping and then you seen people trying to st uh, jack a, a Brinks truck, you, you moving or you filming or what are you doing? I'm not dying. I'm not dying. I'm, I'm keeping it pushing. I'm put. uh, it's like, it's like, <coughs> honestly, it's none of if my they're money. trying to rob a Brinks truck, mm -hmm. they're going to kill somebody. It, it, they have a chance to kill somebody because yeah. they're not playing around. Right. But the Brinks truck, people are armed too and they're shooting. Yeah. Facts. Damn, yeah, that's crazy, bro. I wonder what what these guys. I are wonder do why with did they the have money, fucking bro. lasers and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wish they had lasers. They had all that shit. When you be looking at all these banks, they have the fat bolt mm -hmm. with the crazy carry thing, and multiple people have to be there in order to put it on time. Yeah. They just broke in and broke out. No one knew till Monday. Yeah. I I really think it was an inside job, bro, because you you they got away with it. You know what I'm saying? You got to like like I said, bro. You you've seen the movies. You've you even just that like I've seen a lot of like f like cop shit and you just know like the the ones that under like got everything figured out are the ones that get away with it the ones that just do everything spontaneously are the stupid ass ones that are only looking to get like a couple thousand dollars type shit back in the day I could have seen it happening because mm -hmm. they had no cameras like that they had like different security right yeah but they were still secure bro yeah nowadays like, I see it they have all these security thing and you get still 30 million dollars from that it has to be inside job. Yeah, bro. bro. Why wouldn't you have that stuff in a steel like in a steel vault, bro? That's thirty. I think million. it was on the thirty. It was thirty. Thirty million was in the vault because they went to the vault and they broke into the vault. But how mm. they get into the vault when the vault has steel cages around it, and it takes <coughs> hours and hours. You have to be so precision. Yeah. In order, I can't wait to watch the movie. Yeah. I can't wait to watch That's the movie. Sure they gotta make be. the movie, bro. And in the movie, they're probably gonna make it like three hundred million or three. You know, not just thirty million. It's nah, a movie. Nah, they should do exactly how they yeah. fucking did it. That's why this movie would be really good. No, every movie they gotta go above and beyond. They bro. gotta call it the L.A. Heist. I don't know. Yeah. Something's called like that. 
but and there has to be a lot of gun action though. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean that would make a uh, you know that would make the movie a lot more. Nah, I wonder if they have a backstory. Then they have the bank robbery. No, do you remember the, like the most notorious, uh, notorious uh, bank robbery uh, that happened in L.A. where they're uh, shooting out on the street? It was a whole gun gunfight. Talk about it. These guys were fucked. There, I don't know if there's three or four of them. They're wrapped up in body armor from head to toe, and they're having a shootout, literally, with fully automatic guns in the fucking broad daylight, bro. There's a movie about it. And me, what's the movie called? I don't fucking know. Send look me the look movie. it up, yeah, or type in something like that. But, bro, this shit happened, bro. This shit happened, and you, there's literally videos of them just having shootouts in the middle, and then they're trying to get away. 44 minutes. Yeah, it's this. So it's, it's about this movie. Minutes? Oh, shit. They already have a movie There's about it. There's a movie LA about Bay it, yeah. They, I was going to say they made a movie in about North it. North Hollywood shootout. That bro. is wild. Like, if you go back on YouTube and you look for those videos, bro, like, damn, bro. I don't know if it was, like, the late 90s or some shit like that, but it was around that time. But, yeah, that one was crazy, bro. And, honestly, I hope I never get caught anything like that. Look at this shit. What if the backstory was like this, though? On the, the bank robbery, yeah, they needed thirty million by the next day, or you die. Mm. You robbing that fucking bank? Bro. I'm robbing. You're robbing I'm robbing bank. two banks. Two. Two. Bonnie Clyde shit. Yeah. Mm. I, if I'm a bro, I just feel you know like Bonnie Clyde is right. The, uh, yeah, 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 girl, yeah. The, the couple notorious uh, bank robbers. Who's gonna be your Clyde? Huh? Who's gonna be your Clyde? <laughs> Who's gonna be your Clyde, man? No comment. No hey, comment. Hey, since we're speaking about you, bro, <laughs> right now. Uh huh. Bonnie and Clyde. So pretty much, I helped AD create a show, and pretty much I put some desks down. It's called Swag School. I seen that. And pretty much, uh, did you like the episode? My, I, my I liked Yar, it. Uh, Hyro was on there. Yeah, yeah. Shout out House Phone. Shout out AD for creating that, uh, creating that show. Putting it, I helped put them together. Me and Aldo came down and yeah. they, we shot. The it was show. only one camera, huh? Uh, yes. One camera was used. Yeah, should have been two different angles. Yeah, that was my only thing. No, it's only going to get better because of the first one. You yeah. can only get better, you know? Yeah. And but other be... than that, I gave it like an 8.5. And the thing is, Max was supposed to shoot it, but he had to go uh, do something. So uh -huh. we had to get a, a a person last second within mm. an hour that morning. Oh, shit. But no, yeah, um, I, I watched it. I thought it was dope. I thought it was great content. I think it's, it's going to be a dope series of uh, like a show. You know what I mean? Um, and I thought the girl played it perfect, bro. Like... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever her name is. Yeah. I thought oh, she was perfect. Yeah. Dude, this bug just pulled up on me. Like, what? Blow why is there a bug right now? Blow smoke on it. Pause. Um, hey, but yeah, uh, can you play the clip, uh, Aldo? <clears throat> but yeah, what about that show? So pretty much, uh, I am I, I looked at the submissions on there, right? And I was just like, people from all over the place. And pretty much, uh, Aldo, you can play the submission clip? Give it to Joe. Hey, Mac, you're going to have to play this for the audience. What? i already seen it. <clears throat> I've seen this whole thing. Now watch it. Just kind of hold it up by your mic, too. If you want to be on the next episode, make sure you send an email to this email right above me or below me. I'm somewhere on the screen, right? right? Need help. My name is Joe Guderez, and I need some help. My swag has been off lately, and I need some fucking help. I lost most of my hoes recently because of op. Put all of them into one group chat, and they found out they were related. What? Suck my dick. Damn, you. Damn, he was hey, fucking he, the whole please, family? I just want some group chat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, that's the homie Burwater from Big Chief. No. You did that. No. They're trying to scam to get on the show. Hey, yo, explain yourself. Yo. Explain yourself, bro. Who, who put that up bro, there? Bro, explain yourself, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? That was hilarious. Okay, bro, so. That let's, was fucking let's back it up. hilarious. Let's back it up. So, hold up, hold up. So, yeah. Hold up, let's back it up. <coughs> first of all, I'm going to ask you two questions first, then you answer them because I don't want to get lost. Okay, first question. Why'd you put the submission in? What if you actually got chose? I didn't second, put... that, 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 second question. Talk about the bitches that were related that got put in the group message. I'm so interested. And I know you guys are too. Wait, Go. I'm so... Wait, wait, I'm confused. Play it back again for him. I didn't submit nothing. Who submitted me? I don't fucking know. You submitted it yourself. I didn't even... How? You didn't know about this? No. I didn't submit you. I don't get it. Who the fuck said all that? Well, someone submitted your profile on every You're single lying. Thing. I think the person that put in the group message probably what did. What do you want me? What do you want me to? I think your op did this. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Let me <laughs> hold on. 
Somewhere on the screen. And I need some help. Wait, wait, wait. My wait. name is Joe Guderians, and I need some help. My swag has been off lately, and I need some fucking help. I lost most of my hoes recently because of op. Put all of them into one group chat, and they found out they were related. What? Suck my dick. Damn you! Damn, he was Baby, fucking the whole please, family. I just I want think some the coochie. person told you to suck Whoa. their dick, Joe. Wait, what is he saying? Whoa. Wait, that's the homie Burwater from Big Chief. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. <laughs> They're trying to scam to get on the show. <laughs> <laughs> he needs some bitches, man. That's crazy. Wait. It wasn't Talk about you. It. I was. Well, lot he wasn't me. <laughs> I swear to God, everything. Who? I. That was not me. Explain yourself, bro. Who the fuck put me on there? I don't fucking know. I thought it was you. Why would I do that? Why would I bring it up? I, so, hey, call AD. Call AD. This you is call, hilarious. You call him right now. This is fucking hilarious, call, bro. Call him up right now. I swear to God, everything I love, that shit caught me off guard right now. That's fucking hilarious. Hey, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, the Swag School, if you're out there and don't get no bitches, uh, go to House Phone's uh, at House Phone and DM him, and he'll give you an email address to e uh, email why you should be picked. Might as well hit that. He might be streaming right now. But bro, anyways, who, bro. Wait, wait, wait. How let's do you feel talk about, about this? I'm fucking, I don't, appalled, shocked, surprised. Who the fuck put that? Well, I guess the put, bitches that you put in the group message might have did that. <laughs> <laughs> does it make sense now? No. Nah. They said suck my dick at the end. Who the fuck put that shit? Bro, Joe, someone has it for you out there, bro. That's funny as a motherfucker. Bro, that The moment is I funny. seen it, I go, Joe, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Bro, I swear to God on everything. I did not submit nothing. I just watched the episode. They had the profile there too, bro. Yeah, who the fuck did that? Shit. The, one of the three bitches in the fucking group chat. That's wild that as fuck. This, hey, House One was applauded by the three bitches were in the group mess. He was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You said they're all related? <laughs> <coughs> what do you think about this shit? Okay, my first reaction when I seen it, it seemed like you would do something like that. Me? <laughs> I would do something. For fun, though. But for, for giggles. Wait, you, AD you did calling same, me. AD, same, AD's same. calling me. Big AD. Tell what we're on. What up, Bert? My guy, we, are, we shooting our pod right now, so, so you tuned in. There. We're recording this. Yo, who, who submitted me to the swag school, bro? You? No, I didn't. Oh God, I, told I didn't. You it was him? <laughs> no, I just seen that right now, bro. Someone, bro, that I'm dying, bro. That shit caught me off guard. I was laughing so hard. How? Did, who? The, I, I want to know who's. Huh? I thought you did it to be funny. Nah, That's what I bro. He did, he did too, just to troll like Fresh and Fit. Remember when on Fresh and Fit did the same thing? Yeah. No, I didn't do it, bro. Hey, you know I told him who did it, Ad. I said one of the three bitches that was in the group chat. <laughs> Probably. Bro, that's crazy. Hey, you know what we got to do, though, now, right? You got to do it. We got to do it. We got to get the people what they want. <laughs> he really submitted it. <laughs> hey, no, I King swear AD. to God. He set himself up. I swear to God, everything I love, that was not me. I, I, no, I believe you saying that. Yeah, you already know, AD. I, you, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to say too much, but you already know. That's like, funny. Yeah, hey, but let me know when episode two is coming, bro. I love the first episode, by the way. I'm filming uh, episode two Monday. Hey, tell them about the, uh, tell them not the girl's name, but how, who the girl is. Like, popping, bro. Uh, that's, that's episode three now. Oh, episode three? The girl on episode three is popping, Hey, let, let me know when you need me, bro, because we got to make this a viral episode for sure. Oh yeah, you gotta go crazy. Real Burwater's coming out, bro. They put they want to put me out there like that. Fuck it. I need the real Burwater to come out. No, the real Burwater. I'm gonna take like three or four shots before we start, and you're gonna see real Burwater. Huh? Yes, sir. Shit, no, let's run it, bro. Fuck it. Hey, I got, hey, I got a movie for y'all. Y'all need to go see. Send it my way. Monkey man. Monkey man, what's it about? What kind of racist shit is that? No, I'm just kidding. No, this shit hard. What's it about? What's it about? It's like, John, it's like some John Wick type shit. Oh no, I'm gonna love that. Hell John yeah. John Wick type shit, gun action. Joe, I'm fucking with it. I love that. Oh, why does oh, he look like shit. that? Shit, we're seeing it right now. These are real monkeys. It's Planet of the Apes shit. Nah, this shit crazy. Watch that shit. All right, bet. I'm gonna hit you later, my guy. Thanks for uh, hitting me back.
You already know. All right, bro. AD just gave us a movie recommendation. We can't play it for y'all before we get fucking... What is it called? Copyright. Copyright. I oh, guess it's a monkey fighting people. Crazy. Oh, it's an Indian movie? Oh, they're probably going crazy with the action right. in the Indian movie. Real question is, let's get back to this, the topic here. Are you really doing that? Do episode? you know who submitted that? Wallahi, I already told you I don't. It's probably one of the three bitches in the group message. I'm telling you. These, they wouldn't do that. Why wouldn't they do it? Because I don't roll like that. <laughs> they say he needs some bitches. <laughs> and they even said, they even said, suck my dick. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I'm like, who the fuck? If it was one of you out there, you made my fucking day. You guys day. are grimy. You're not. Nah, you made nah, my day. You're nah, dope as fuck. But you don't want to know what? You guys want to do content? Now we're going to do content. I've been trying to keep Burwater out the loop. Now we back. Fuck it. Hey, bro. Hopefully, Special hopefully you day. get on that episode and blow up and then do your thing. Then one day you can afford to buy a fucking million dollar mansion in L.A. I don't need that show. I'm about to do that in a few years. You know why I tell you this, though? Why? I just had to bring the topic that way. <laughs> oh. So, look. The other day, I was just, like, looking at, uh, like, the house the housing stuff, and I found an article, and it started blowing up, too, after that. And it goes, like, the uh, studies find renting is now cheaper than owning America's 50 largest metro areas. Mm. So, pretty much, like, renting is cheaper than actually going by in the crib at the end of the fucking day because of inflation. How crazy is that? That's it would make sense crazy. to go buy a house, pay mortgage <laughs> on the house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it's like <laughs> rent is like rent literally is like like three thousand dollars minimum, two thousand dollars, yeah. twenty five hundred dollars minimum for one bedroom in LA. Yeah. And then twenty five hundred dollars can get you a four bedroom uh, in Texas. That's a twenty five hundred dollar crib, probably like four thousand yeah. dollars now. No, like bro, an apartment out here, a one bedroom apartment is like between twenty five hundred, three thousand minimum. Exactly. I have a three bedroom house with a pool and a back house, and that's what I'm paying three thousand dollars a month. Mortgage? Yeah, okay. not rent. Oh, you see, you see. Yeah. But the thing is, you own the house at the end of the day, so yeah. the, you make that three thousand dollars back off the mortgage. Right. But they're saying studies showing in the fifty metro in areas, in these areas, metro yeah. areas. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a lot of fifty metro areas. Yeah. Because there's only one, two, three, four, five, six big cities, seven, about ten big cities. I hey, man, I can't shake this video that we just watched right now. Why? How do you? That shit tripped me the fuck out. Who do you think put that? Who do you think would put that then? If you're asking me, who did it? <clears throat> I honestly don't know. To say that you're grimy for putting that video. I didn't. I didn't even post. But all right, hold on. Who do you think they're gonna try to set me up with? The girl. Yeah. Why do you care so much? Probably gonna be like we're gonna a, do this show now. It's probably gonna be a thotty that shakes her ass and wants to suck your dick under the dinner table. It's my type of woman. See? Yeah. It's my type of lady. See, whoever it is, hopefully they're not ugly. Wait, but am I supposed to go? Am I going into the episode as if I have no swag? So you pretty much say, like you have to show that you get no bitches. And then it shows like you don't know why you get bitches and you, or how long you don't like you don't fuck girls, none of that. Yeah. You feel me? You don't got a girlfriend for this long. Then you come in and they sit you down and then they give you game. Then after they give you game, you get like fr they freshen you up. Then they uh, then they introduce you to girl at the dinner thing. You go out with her, and at the end, well, you're, they, Aldo, you're crazy. What's going on here, yeah, bud? The, whoa, whoa, what the fuck, whoa, Aldo? No, no. <laughs> you're distracting, bro. I'm just putting only pause. <laughs> Big pause. <laughs> what did you see? I didn't look at it. I don't know what you're talking about. But anyways, uh, I don't even want to talk about they, it. They sit they sit you down, and they go uh, after the thing. They get an interview. How you d uh, did on the date? How do you think the girl was cool? And the girl goes, "How it feels about you?" Yeah. And then it goes from there. You feel me? If you click it off, you click it off. But if not, you went on a date with this girl, and you got more game. You're swagged up, and you're prepared for the future. Yeah. Pretty much your preparation. Should I go on this bitch and be me or be Savage Bearwater? You just be yourself. Because the other the per, the gentleman that was on there really didn't get bitches. Yeah, I know. I, I watched it. Exactly. But after the fact, you know what he told me? I'm going on dates. Uh, after I seen him, because it was at the end, he was leaving. He goes, well, he told me. He goes, swear to God, he told me. I'm about to go on the same, I'm about to go on three dates in a row with the same fit. Oh. <laughs> 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 I started, I was like, hey, stretch it out, my boy. That's Pause. funny as fuck, bro. No, that was a funny ass episode. I watched it. I thought that was shit. I made was that sign cool. last second and every single thing we got it going. I got those desks. It wasn't until a few minutes in where I realized that I was at the office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That mm -hmm. shit's funny as fuck. Office. How smart was that? 
No, this was a great fucking episode. But yeah, whoever fucking did that. Do you see a shirt? How to pick up chicks? Whoever fucking did that shit. Joe, you got it for them uh, followers out there? You got to. I'm not going to lie to you. I think that's the funniest thing that literally I seen this whole week. When, when did I, you see that clip? You were watching ago? it? Or did they send it to you? Nah, someone sent it to me. Who sent it to you? Aldo showed me. Oh. Yeah. Damn, bro. I'm telling you right now, that was the funniest shit ever. I was not expecting that, but wait till you guys see this clip. If you guys Bird heard water. it. One of those three bitches got you. <sighs> Have you ever got put in the group message with three girls and, and then calling you out? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they know too much about you. I'm retired, you know? That was the old me. Hey, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, a dog never retires. A dog is always a dog. Oh, shit. But anyways, I don't know what to think anymore. That shit. But any, let's move forward, bro. Bro, Fuck go back that. to the renting houses. It's pretty crazy that yeah. like you can rent. Like, motherfuckers pay like $5,000, $4,000 for rent. And then that's, like they're paying about like about $50,000, $60,000 a year off rent. I don't think that makes sense, bro. I don't think. How much house, how, 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 with housing? Let's just say you buy a three or two hundred fifty thousand dollars house, right? The interest rate is re, very high right now. It all depends on your credit, bro. It, it, the interest is very high right now, right? And then it'll, the it'll APR, come out crazier. Yeah, yeah, it'll be crazy right now. But I didn't, I don't uh, think it's everywhere. But in certain areas, look, median uh, rent uh, prices for two bedroom apartments in uh, Westwood is forty two hundred, in Marina del Rey thirty six. And then in the ghettoist areas is two thousand. Yeah. Lower, uh, uh, like lower Los Angeles, twenty six hundred. Hollywood about three bands, you know. <coughs> yeah. Downtown about average on thirty three fifty. Uh huh. Some people are paying probably twenty five hundred dollars for uh, shared apartments. You feel me? Yeah. And then they multiple people get into it, or someone's paying like twenty thousand dollars for a fucking penthouse. You right. Know? At least crazy because people will be walking on the street, be homeless, and you go upstairs and be the fucking nicest apartment with the nicest fucking view. Yeah. Wait, have you did the math in your head about houses? Because Talk even you, you're a house owner, right? Yeah. So even right now, I I do the math on one one point five million. Oh let's just say one point five million dollar house, right? You put down if you have good credit, you get pre loan, but from your bank, not the, the hold on. What's the average house price in LA then? I don't know. Look that up. That I don't know. But but then uh, but then you see, start seeing. No, yeah, no, no. Is way cheaper than that. No, okay. No, that's not the point. All right, go with me on this. Fuck it. Let's just say a million that, dollars. Yeah. So that's why I said one point five, four point eight. APR is usually with good credit, and you're going through your own personal bank. If you go through a third party, you let your agent go through a, their own loan. Of course, they're going to get a higher interest rate. It should be anywhere from seven to ten with good credit. But if you go through your own bank, if you're smart, go to your own fucking bank, get your own. Pre-approved loan, boom. But anyways, you do the math, right? You do, let's just say, one point five million. You times that by the month for twenty-five years. What's twenty-five times twelve? Someone, I got you right here. Twenty-five times twelve. There's a kid out there that already did the math, laughing at us right now. <laughs> Three hundred. Okay, so 300, 300 months you got to pay, right? Hey, divide that by 1.5 million. 1.5 million divided by 300. 5,000. Okay, boom. But you're so you for... get a four bedroom house. <laughs> How many years is 300 months? 25 years. Yeah, I said that. God damn. <laughs> that, well, that's what they usually go for. You take out a loan out for 25 years minimum. Yeah. But okay, so then look, then you then this is what people usually do after. X amount of years, they refinance the house, and then they put it into the house, or they just refinance after to hold the money. After 25 years. No, no, you no, don't have like, to. But no, I'm just no, saying. It's you, no, no, hold on. Let me show you. So it's usually after where there's equity in the house. It's not 25 years. You, After a couple of years, you can have equity in the house, right? Because the market goes up. But in my opinion, renting is a lot more expensive, if you do the math, than fucking... Uh, buying a house, so I, I would buy the what house. I was looking at, bro. yeah, yeah. How, but half but the I, don't, I think that's afford, false. Half the people don't even make about. Let's just say if your rent is like, what is it? You're living in L.A., right? And your rent is like three thousand dollars a month. San Gabriel month. Valley. Uh, no, let's just say you're oh, in okay. SJV or L.A. Your rent is like twenty five, three thousand dollars a month, right? Uh -huh. 
Bro, you, you're you not working a nine-to-five job and you can live comfortably no, in yeah. it. It's like literally almost impossible yeah. to even even think about like buying a really nice house unless you're moving out and get a good job mm-hmm. that's paying the same amount. Because mm-hmm. LA, the minimum wage is like 18, something, mm-hmm. something like that, right? And then someone works 40 hours a week. And you ain't do shit. The, and you, what are you going to do? Live in the house and eat fucking carpet? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That ain't shit. That ain't shit. Unless you got three, two, three, four people working now and more yeah. people got to work in the household, right? Before the man will work, the female will be at, at the crib enjoying her day. Mm-hmm. Feel me? The ki- uh, And the kids will be into a nice school, have their go to the university if they want to, you know what I mean? Or do or do their jobs and the husband could also have side whatever doing yeah. other thing he's doing. Living their life, going on vacations. Now everyone has to work all day long in order to survive, and people don't even want to go out because they spend so much money on their money on rent. They enjoy their house that they're yeah, in, yeah. and that's a fact. Yeah, I just I you just, guys, you guys out there, just take that as why should I go harder mm-hmm. every fucking day? Why should I be better me? You know what I mean? Why should I get more incomes? Why should I evolve my income? When you're doing really good business and putting yourself out there and networking, that's gonna be nothing to you. Mm-hmm. I have that, a question. That's for real, for real. I have a question for hey, you. But for for, give me one second. Give yeah. me one second. Right now, how the U.S. is going is the rich get richer. There's no middle class. The poor get poorer. You feel me? The middle class is disappearing, in in the, in our country, and it's very sad, bro. It's very very sad. That's why all the thing is uh, talking about the rep thing. A lot of, either you can afford it, you can't. Mm-hmm. That's what it's going for. Okay, so <laughs> you have a house, right? Most likely around this time, you have a partner that you live with. Let's just say, right? Yeah. Do you want your partner to bring in some type of income? Uh, this is my personal uh, opinion, mm-hmm. and this is on me. <clears throat> I would love them to, mm-hmm. but they don't have to. Because mm-hmm. uh, if I'm making something, I'm making a kingdom, and I'm filling my kingdom because I'm moved different. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. And everything, I don't, I don't even let uh, girls pay when I go eat with them or go do something with them. It's just me and my how I, yeah. I got raised. And so if a girl's living with me, she don't got to pay for shit. You yeah. feel me? But I want her, if she's making her money and stuff, like uh, spending on her kids, spending on herself and mm-hmm. do stuff like that. And if you should buy me gifts if you want, you know what I mean? I'm more than welcome to it. Yeah. But it's my obligation as a man <laughs> to pay the rent uh-huh. and make sure we're good and there's food on the table. <laughs> so I absolutely agree with that, but... I think paying for dinners obviously is like a hundred percent, but all right. In my opinion, I am like that provider. So I want to pay for the, the, you don't got to pay the house, whatever the mortgage I pay for that. But my question was, do you want your partner to have some type of income? Meaning should they be entrepreneur? Should they work? Not for you. Their choice. It's their choice. Right. In my opinion, from my experience, I want my partner, if especially if I'm going to be living with them, I want my partner to have some type of entrepreneur lifestyle or a hustler in their own uh, field of choice for uh, because I need that energy. Like, I need to be able to talk business to my partner or just them to understand business. But also, too, like, I, from my experience, I just feel like if I have someone that I could kind of share with this type of industry that I'm in or this type of hustler, like hustler, entrepreneur lifestyle that I live, it makes it a lot better. It makes, I feel like it'll make me want to even go even harder. Now, I don't want the girl to work, but I I would suggest that they do something. It's not about money. It's just about doing something. Bills are going to be paid for. Bills are going to be paid for. That's not that. What I'm saying is I kind of want my partner to be able to match my, you know, my but hustler. Yeah, I agree. A little bit, but not to my extent. Not but. every situation is the same because you yeah. can have a girl that's a mother. She's yeah. a really good mother. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she can be a really good queen too. Uh, yeah. She's in involved in your what you're doing as well and giving you really good advice, level headedly. Yeah. yeah. And that's more than a bit like a girl that I'm gonna call my bitch. That's more than <laughs> a girl that like pretty much like. <laughs> Does all the entrepreneurship, but doesn't understand right. the entrepreneurship is supposed to be on. I'd rather have a girl that, if she wants to work or not work, be a really good mother, yeah. you feel me? And be a really good wife. Yeah. And then be a, to the point where it'd be a really good person to get advice from. Yeah, yeah. And then vice versa, you know what I mean? But how could they give you advice about a field they don't know? Just general advice on the yeah. field. Like decisions when you're decision making, mm-hmm. it can be any decision, but it's clearly thinking on the decision making. Because right, right. they can be like, level, they can literally be like, no. Nah, 
you're just overthinking right mm-hmm. now is like seeing you go through all of this and it becomes like this and they're yeah. reassuring you and helping you out not just talking to you and just yeah. saying shit at that point yeah. but, and they're giving you like examples and they're actually intertwined with it and they're part of the journey that you're going to because they're supporting you right. and they're really supportive and they, you don't have to ask them to Yeah. but they, then they, you talk to them and they understand and yeah. when they understand then it can go from there but me I don't really care to talk about to my women about business unless she cares to yeah. want to know yeah. I'll let you know but at the end of the day I want, don't want to bring that shit home yeah <laughs> you know what I right, mean? Right. But that's that's my lifestyle. You know but what that, I mean? But that's that's a like if you really think about it, you're supposed to share your life with your partner. Yeah. So that's my point. Now here's another angle. Mm-hmm. My partner that I live with, I don't want her whole life just to be about me. I want you to bring something to the table. I wanna I want you to have a life outside of this relationship, because if you just solely focused on me, then it's gonna it's, it's annoying to me. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, Maybe. I, I want you to support me, yes. I want you to be my cheerleader, yes. But it's like, I want to be able to... Of course. To, of no, course no, you want a good girl. Oh, have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Go do something. Be a, right, If right. you want to be a chef, be a chef. Yeah. If you want to do anything you want, go do that. Handle that. But, but at like, the end of the day, you're going to have to help her with their business as well. Exactly. And I'm more than welcome to yeah. help anybody with anything. It's just, remember I said it's your option? Yeah, and yeah. And if you tell me, go, I'm going to make sure you go. You know right, what I mean? That's right. why being partners is. Yeah. But, uh... Pushing to be better because look how I look at meeting somebody is I'm I gotta be the best version of myself of when course. I really meet someone I want to meet you feel me because that's right. my highest tier of myself yes, sir. and then I meet somebody that's already doing the highest tier version of themselves right yeah and we get together and we elevate each other she's an asset not a liability exactly. at that point you know what I mean exactly so that's how I really truly think about it it's like for me uh, talking to girls is cool but really being in a relationship with a girl is actually like. Very personal, personal. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not just there's value for, to there's, that. there's a there's accessibility mm-hmm. accessibility to me is very difficult. Yeah. But now you get open accessibility <coughs> to me. Yeah. And then you just have to be really like supporting me and I'm supporting you back and we're helping each other grow. Yeah. Because anything else is a distraction. Yeah. I don't care how much I like you. No, yeah. Like me growing up, I just realized like you know, I could be in a relationship. You don't, oh, my fault, my fault. Can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. You don't need a girl that wants to spend $3,000 of your money every day. You want a girl that's really, like, <laughs> looking at your stuff and be like, nah, let me, if I want this 3000 I can flip it, but yeah. give it 3000 we can do whatever I want with it. 6000 Yeah, 6000 yeah. and we both, or 10000 I'll give you five, yeah. and I get five. No, and then another angle for me, this is me personally, it's like, you know, you already live, like, from my experience living with my, my ex-partner and all that, it's like, it gets like me personally, bro, I get bored. Like, I want space. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to just talk about what I did all day. I want to ask you about your day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your conflicts of business. Okay. Your situations going on. Let me weigh in on your shit. But if if my partner doesn't have nothing to talk about that we could show, I then, understand. What then you're I'm saying. like, how all these thoughts got to stay in my head? Then most of it. You get what I'm trying to say? Because I could break down X, Y, and Z, and in the end, you're just going to be, like, listening, looking at me like, damn, babe, like, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, right? Yeah. Looks, being uh, sexually attracted, all of that stuff, at the end of the day, fucking tarnishes when you have to sit in the yeah. room with somebody for 30 years. Right. And then you don't have nothing to fucking say. Yeah. It's ridiculous. You yeah. should be with somebody, and you have endless things to say and when exactly. you're not even talking you guys are chilling yeah and that's saying a lot too yeah. you know what i mean it's that yep. peace and then like that's so big yeah you know what i mean the yep. second part is really big yeah and so that's why man like i want my partner future partner whatever just to be able to like not work for money just you know try to do something be productive because i want to be able to conversate about business because business inspired me too B. yeah you know what i'm saying business is a big part of my life entrepreneurship like i'm not talking about oh i was late to work you know what i'm saying i'm not talking about oh my boss and i'm talking about how real productive were you how, yeah 1% real better every life day. shit you know and that's why like you know i was thinking about this the other day like i want that like i don't want just someone to just be there it'd be dope to have a girl that's an artist and you come home there's fucking different paintings every day mm. be like Dad, what'd you make today? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. you're really into it because it's so cool. And exactly. their person is really artistic and really... Because then, and like, I, like <coughs> you women out there, I have a little sister too, and she's so amazing. And I tell her all the time, I'm like, do stuff you love. Find stuff yeah. like you really like. Start cutting up jeans, start patching. I start, dang, you creative. And then you start creating that, right? For uh, the rest of you girls out there, 
don't rely on your looks, posting on Instagram, doing all that shit. That shit follows. Do stuff that is a hobby that literally you like and you're really good at, and mm-hmm. then you become great at and push that, and then push the looks. Mm-hmm. They'll be looking at you yeah. like, damn, different. Like, who is this? Yeah. Like, that's really a fact. Yeah. Like, I, there's been situations where you talk to a girl and, you know, up front, she's like, whatever, you're not really showing her as much attention as the bitch that got the BBL or the fake tits is shaking her ass, you know? You're just kind of having a normal conversation with the girl, right? But then she starts telling you everything she does, right? And certain, let's just say certain of them trigger what you like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, that's why I say never judge a book by its cover because there's so much to come be- behind that. But, like... If you start talking to a girl and she's like, yo, yeah, I have my own business. Like, you know, I've been living on my own for X amount of you time. You look at them different. Then you're like, damn, like the respect level has gone up. Then you find a little, that you're a little more interested. There's more chemistry. Then you're like, okay, now you're a little more attractive than the bitch with the fake titties. Do you know what annoys me, though? What? When a bitch t- starts gossiping about her coworkers to me. I literally mm. say, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I literally say, I don't care. Yeah. Because I don't I, like I, hearing I, that I shit. I get that. Huh? I get that. Explain why, though. It's like, I don't care what they did last week and they're doing this week and the yeah. week after. You feel me? It's like, it's because you're talking about them. Yeah. Why are you talking about them to me? Yeah. Like, why do you care so much? Don't work there. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. I don't, like, I, I get what you're saying. And from my angle, it's like, I've, I've hung out with some homies who do work nine to five. And they tell me about, like, this and that. Like, shit. Like, the, I don't care. And I try not to listen, but I'll change the subject sometimes. But then I try to listen just to because sh- it's You know what I'm me. talking about, Yeah. Right? <laughs> and it's like, damn, bro, like, I don't give a fuck about that 9 to 5 shit. Like, Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> like, I'm out here talking about bigger shit. You're over here talking about, like, oh, I got written up for some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and this is what goes to show is, you know, different people in different levels. Attract. No, shit's more important to other, these people than this shit is but, important to this person. But that's attraction too. Yeah. Like if I'm thinking about this level and uh, and my attraction levels can be thinking about that same level too because I'm attracting that, right? So you got to carry yourself in a certain way. You got to move a certain way. You got to think a certain way. You got to, when you're leveling up and you look at it and be like, damn, I was doing this this way. It kind of cringes me out how I was doing that, right? Because we all go through it. And then right now, I'm looking at myself like chill, sitting here. Five years for me, like, going to the future, would probably look at myself right now, mm-hmm. like, do it like this, more player, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We saw the learning lesson how we do it, but then our attractions start getting better, and then what we like, how we are, starts liking us back, right, bro, right, right. type shit. And then you can't go, you can't go create that. You want, you're working a job, complaining about all this stuff, doing all these things, working a nine-to-five, having no ambitions, and you're a guy, and you're thinking, this is a double standard word, watch. And you're a guy, and you're trying to get a, a baddie that has her own thing going on, that got money and everything. Unless she's like, unless you're giving her a good dick, good luck. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And the second thing is, you could be a girl that's just doing nine to five, working your uh, butt off, and you can find a guy that looks at you and be like, hey, I see your talents. Uh, I could put you on to do this, whatever. And the uh, girl, and he'll like her for who she is and not care how, how, how much money she got or not. You right. feel me? And then bring her on, and then pretty much level her lifestyle up, too. And that, that happens, too, bro. Yeah. But it's to the but point— But it's never the opposite. It's never the opposite. That's yeah. the double standard. It's never opposite. I was just thinking about this. Like, imagine, imagine, which you'll probably never hear, depending— I feel like one out of a hundred girls will be like this. Imagine telling a, you, you, part, you date a guy, and you're like, yo, baby— you know what? I make a shitload of money. You don't gotta work. Just make sure you're you're loyal to me. You know, you respect me. You don't cheat on me. Da 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 da. And you give me good dick, and I'll pay for everything. That's rare. Cause look, the girls. That's are, rare. Cause a girl, you go to the, you hang out with the girls and her friends, and all the people are there, and the home, and her friends are all like, they're bad. You feel yeah. me? And they're like, what your man do? Well, he's big chief. Yeah. <laughs> like, what your man do? Uh, he's Elon Musk. Uh, what your man do? Shit works for Ralph's. <laughs> no, or like, he stays at home. Or I pay stays for the bills. Oh, oh, yeah, I stay for bills. And I look at bro like, damn, bro, you're living a good life, yeah. my boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at it that way. But some girls would be like, yo, that's a bum. Bum, <laughs> exactly. But the, the female isn't a bum in the opposite situation? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> but look hey, at that. That's it. funny. Yeah. Hey, but no, the, ho- the homie would be like this, look. Damn, you're, you're short he's bad. Like, guess where I found her? Where? Ralph's? <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, way! Yeah, I'm like, bro, yeah. they're God. <laughs> but like, like no, Actually, let, let's, let's circle back a little bit. But like, just imagine that 
that that is more uh like that's a normal let's just say that's a normal thing now right yeah what would happen at that point now what where guys and girls you have more guy more girls being like you know what i'm i'm the breadwinner you stay at home and watch the kids what would happen if it was 50 50 at that wait, point. wait, she tells me you're the breadwinner. <laughs> She's the bread. Imagine if more roles came about like that and girls started making more money because you know how the whole thing of girls, oh, we don't get paid the same, whatever. I That's don't know how point. I would be like, uh, don't forget uh, the milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, if, if this was, if it were me, 21, 22, 23. I'd be like, hell yeah, bitch. I'm Older straight. me, no. Younger me, yeah. for sure. Now I'm like, nah, like I'm I can't sit still. Like I gotta go do something. Like I can't, I don't, I can't let a girl be the breadwinner. And even if it even if she was, I still gotta get money too. Like at some point when you're with a partner, I'm never gonna let a situation. I'll ask you this question too. If I was in a situation and I'm making good, decent money, right? But then my partner later on in the relationship starts making more than me. I'm not going to give a fuck, but there's some relationships where guys are intimidated by that. What about, what What do you think about that? How would you look at that? I watched a movie, bro, called Rich Crazy Asians, and the dude was doing well, too, but the girl had, like, she was rich, bro. Yeah. And he, he left her, he goes, he left her because he, like, felt so embarrassed that he couldn't be on that level, you feel yeah. me? If a girl's making bread and she's making more bread than me... That means our house is huge. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that means Less you got stress. multiple houses yeah. and it's under our kid's name. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Now we're building, baby. Yeah. That's there's so many different angles and uh like there's different really angles and different like uh perceptions that you can look at this and every single person relationship is different. Yeah. But what you are, what you put out there when you're 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 a magnet. So whatever you're attracting will come to you. You feel yeah. me? If you're a bum ass boy that wants that. Shit, it'll happen for you, but at the end of the day, you won't be happy. You know what I mean? If you're really putting yourself out there and making position and uh, eventually find somebody that you really, truly love and yeah. appreciate for who they are, that's amazing, too. You feel me? Well, there's a lot of guys out there who would die to have a sugar mama. Sugar there, would, there would be a bunch of guys out there. Hey, but... They're bums. I can't, I can't, just, be, I can't just be settling for any single thing and yeah. just be out... Looking with somebody that's just busted out there, you feel me? Yeah. So I'm going to put out there the best version of me. I'm going to attract me a baddie, you feel yeah. me? And you'll see her, you feel me? Because cause look, a lot of guys settle. And the only thing that settles is dust, you feel me? And people settle early. A lot of people that I know started settling 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'm like, yeah, I haven't even seen the world, yeah. you know what I mean? You never know what you could like. So until the day I actually travel the world and see what is going on, I ain't settling. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. My first relationship, it was like four and a half years from like 17 to 22, 21 and a half, I think, or no, 22, I don't know. You almost settled? <laughs> <laughs> no, like it wasn't until after a year and a half, two years, where I realized it's too many, too many fish in the sea, bro. In my early ages of dating, bro, my early I was, I was like, you know, all about that loyal commitment life, you know what I'm saying? And then I just started like, you know what, like, part of living life is being a fucking slut, you know, or a hoe. <laughs> like. What? In your early stages of, of, of life. Yeah, go experience, but don't catch AIDS. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I don't, obviously not. What the fuck? Hell no. And yes, you can get AIDS from getting head yeah. without a condom. But any, I don't even want to get, that's ridiculous. But anyways, <laughs> my point is, is like, you know, you start to, you know, do your thing. You start to, the dating, the whole dating vibe type shit. And you just, it's fun, bro. It's fun. You, you don't got to be committed to someone. You don't got to be dealing with unnecessary shit. You know what I mean? So at an early age, I realized that. But then obviously you go through the times where it's like, okay, like you you find someone you fuck with and you, you try to, you know what I'm saying? But then it's just like. I don't know, bro. I don't I don't know when. You know how J. Cole says, love yours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how you gotta feel. It, like, honestly, I, I looked at somebody one time in my time period, yeah. and no other girl would like exist to me. It was fucking weird as fuck. But that ended real quick. Yeah. Because she cheated on me and mm. I figured it out and that killed it. And then I could never feel the same again about that situation for that girl. Yeah. But I feel like in the future I could actually feel that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm hoping one day, but it will be the right person and I won't be fucking your yeah. first girlfriend you ever have, did did what age was that? I was a like first serious relationship where you guys 
fucked in all that? Uh, probably like high school, bro. Like around what time of high school? Like junior, senior. How long were you faithful to her? Until she cheated on me. Oh, that was the one they cheated on you. No, that was the first one. Cause I didn't know I didn't know how to be the like right. honestly no one taught me how to be the player role how to act to and talk to girls and keep them on check and yeah. every single thing by like failing I learned bro mm. by like getting like getting fucked up I'm like damn why do you do it like that okay it was yeah. like this and I wouldn't go for any none of my homies for advice I would not even ask my brother bro yeah I just asked my brother I had so many things around me every yeah. single day and it's like different ones bro and then I was I I dated all of them yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't just date one and yeah. but the one I really liked. You feel me? She was like, you fuck my friend? I go, no, I did. But, uh, uh, but that fucked me up later on, you know what I mean? Yeah. But what I was doing, but I guess that's whatever it is, you feel me? But later on, like, I actually really liked somebody. I even flew them out here. I actually enjoyed their company. I enjoyed uh -huh. the vibe. But I actually still, to this day, I hope they're doing really well out there. Yeah. I feel like I just met them. Like, they just wanted to meet this version of me. Yeah. What I am right now, back then, but yeah. I wasn't. Who I was, I am right now. Is that weird? All right, let me get to my question. Is that fucking weird? No, it's not. I feel like that's normal. Okay. But, all right, when, who, at what age was the first relationship you cheated on your girl? I don't cheat. You never cheated on your girl? Uh-uh. But now, like, if I'm just dating somebody, for sure, but if I'm with somebody, yeah. I don't. It's me, though. Yeah. It's just how I move, bro. It's weird to say, but I don't cheat. My first serious relationship, I probably cheated after like two years of being with her. And I, at first, I would I've never been with somebody for more, like on and off two yeah. years. Yes, and I'm doing shit in the middle. For sure, for sure. But we're not together. Yeah. But like, you feel me? But if for the past two years, if I'm tired of somebody, like, and I'm like trying to get out, yeah. I don't know. I probably would. No, but, but hold on. If I don't. We okay. all we've we've all done this thing where you break up with a bitch to go do some whole shit. Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> no, so like, I, I didn't. I, no, no one taught me that. I wish I knew that. <laughs> I wish I knew how to make conflict with a bro, bitch. Like a break up with that I bitch. I used to do that shit in high school. I used to come create back. conflict with a bitch and then. You know what? That's I can't some do. bullshit, bro. I'm gonna teach my cut. That's the word, bro. No, but like, ah. all right, look. The first time I cheated was like my first girlfriend after a couple years, but like, it was like we we went through a breakup and we were talking for like a couple days and then like I did my thing, but I still felt like that cheated. That was cheating, you know, because I knew we were probably gonna end up back together. But my point is, then we got back together and then like you know I would go on some dates and because I knew there was no future in that, so I was just there. So you're cheating. So I was doing my th thug dizzle. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, it got to a point where, like, you know what? Like, it's time to just cut them loose, let them loose, because let them go find, you True know? love. Find yeah, somewhere true love. else. But I always tell them before I let them go, you'll never find somebody yeah, like me. But, like. Like, no one can hit it better than me. Nah, I'd be, like, nah, really honest. Yeah. I'd be really, I'm like, you can be laying down thinking about me when you're with them 30 <laughs> years from now. But keep it G. I hope you really enjoy them. And yeah. I really do have love for you. <laughs> no, but, like, let me tell you. So, like. <laughs> I, I've always felt like I've always felt like you know <laughs> cheating is a part of a man growing. Mm. What do you think about that? Hey, I don't know who said this, but they it's weird how they said this, bro. I don't totally agree with it. They said I didn't knew I didn't know how much I love my girl until I cheated on her. <laughs> 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 That's true though. I felt bad after I was like, you know, I really love this bitch, and then we can't, you know, going through our incidents. I was like, no, I'm too young for this shit. Cause I, I constantly heard like, yo, you're too young. Like, like we tell these young guys, yo, don't be in. You know what I'm saying? There's so much out there. Like, just don't be so caught up in your first relationship. And but I feel like you're nah, that's very factual. Bro, yeah. Because then later on you can actually get together. But like, you know what I mean? Timing. Timing. The timing like, has to hit. I, I just feel like a man. Or a young boy has to go through all these shit to figure out who he is and figure out how he wants to run his game. You know, whether if it's being a loyal relationship guy or being someone who just likes to date and fuck around. You know what I mean? But I just feel like there should be a stage for both in your life before you get to your final partner so you can truly understand and appreciate who them. you are and appreciate them and appreciate yourself. And respect them and respect yeah. yourself as well. And you know, and you know what, what your boundaries are as a, as a partner, you know? Because that's one of the biggest things, understanding your boundaries and understanding the, you know, what lines can and cannot be crossed. Now, let's talk about this now. Go ahead. So I got a lot of homies that are saying, I'm never getting married. And they didn't. I have homies that are 35, 36. They got kids living their best life. You feel me? 
enjoying it, going state state to state, city to city, clubs every night, yachts, making bags. Yeah. New ting every week. You know what I mean? And they're like... I know who we're talking about. Enjoying. There's multiple. <laughs> and then there's, there's multiple. And, then, and I look at that, I'm like... <laughs> Damn, as long as the kids are so happy, you know what I mean? As long as that's that's good yeah. and he's happy, you can live that lifestyle. It's not a pressure to get married and go do all of that no. stuff because that's a big commitment. Yeah. Go and do that, that's half your shit. You feel me? Yeah. Type shit. You know what I mean? And that's not even the materialistic shit. Now your kids that you develop seeing every day, now you're not waking up to them. That's my biggest fear. Yeah. Feel me? So everyone has their own choice on how they want to live their life. But never be pressured on somebody else's. But always do the right thing at the end of the day. Don't be yeah. a dick bag coming around doing bullshit. Yeah, go get some pussy. If you're a girl, go get some. Go get, yeah. do your thing. You feel me? But respectfully respect everyone around you when you're doing stuff like this. <coughs> and then as a girl, just don't be too accessible. Yeah. And then as a guy, do your thing, but don't be a do- like showing being a dog in front of every fucking body. No, hell no. That's but, where you're dumb. But some girls like that. Some girls like that. Some girls like that. And it took me a long time to figure out, like, when I'm just don't give a fuck and I'm dogging around, bro, yeah. in, in, like, public. Bro, back in the day when I was dating multiple females, no one fucking knew. Back in the day, you know what I'm saying? No one fucking knew. And I liked it that way. It's called a roster? Yeah, it's called a roster. Mm. But no one fucking knew, bro. And I liked it that way. That way, you know, I wasn't fully attached and... You know, I, like I said, back then, like, I learned a lot, and it, that's why, like, I'm I'm retired now, you know what I'm saying? But, do you want to know the funniest thing I do yeah. during Ramadan? What? I literally throw my roster away. Oh, that's smart. I literally just get rid of everybody, yeah. bro. I don't have a roster anymore. And then we still first start, baby. Yeah. So Ramadan's almost over. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four more days. Make sure you guys submit your applications. Hey, no, come on, kidding. man. Just hey. <coughs> if but, I was little, I'd be a Skittle. <laughs> Yeah, bro. No, that, it, it, it. I just feel like that's a crucial part of um, any any man or female's life is just to go through your relationships and learn from them, and you know, test, try shit out. You want to be a, you know, you want to be loyal, be loyal. If you want to be a, a hoe, be a hoe. Hey, but if you're out there trying to uh, take bitches on dates and not about uh, and not getting money, spending your whole yeah, check on bitches, they're fucking yeah. out. You're yeah. fucking out. You're, you're fucking dumb. canceled. Dumb as fuck. Get stay your bag the fuck up. home. Yeah, that's what I always home. say. I don't like you broke ass motherfuckers. Who try to present something and you really don't got that. Like, what the fuck is the point of that shit? Don't don't live outside of your lifestyle until you get it. Then you can do whatever you want. My taco man tells me, no money. <laughs> no, so my taco man tells me, no money, no honeys. Yeah. More money, more honeys. Yeah. And I took that. Yeah. And I stuck to his name's Memo. Memo, Asian, I was going to say Asian Memo. Taco Asian I taco knew truck. exactly you are talking about. Guy tells the real. <coughs> hey, so you out there? No money. Say it with me. Yeah. No money. No money. No honey. No honey. More money. More honey. Yeah. All right, we end it like that. Thank yes, you all sir. for fucking with us. Peace. Uh, we got uh, new products dropping. We got the Melted Diamond products, uh, two grammars dropping. And we got uh, new SKUs of Live Resin, Rosin Carts too. And multiple state. Uh, and like we're we're in Nevada right now. Yeah. We're in California. We're opening up in Michigan soon. Yeah. We're opening up in uh, Arizona, New York. I'm going to see 420 in New York. I'm about to get... Fully licensed out. Finally, about to pick a partnership pretty up coming up soon. So you'll see Big Chief Dispensaries there. And then, guys, if you have any questions on the brand or whatever you want to talk about, hit the comment section below. I read the comments. It makes my fucking day how some of y'all tell me the dopest thing that you got from the episode. And I really fuck with it. The podcast is growing. Yeah. I'm growing as a person. Shout out to the new subs. We got like 2,000 new people joining us. Got motion right now. I appreciate you guys for real, for real. Like, I really mean that. Like, Trust me, you guys, we we try to really give you guys the best conversations. We try to we're, keep it as blunt yeah, as possible. We're locked in. We show up every week, bro. No excuses. And it's it's really just to, I guess, entertain you guys, but also drop knowledge and share our stories with you guys. And if you guys have similar stories, you know, drop a comment. You know, hey, let us shout, know. Hey, shout out to D-H-I-F. Uh, well, I don't know how you say it. He's at W-Pod. And then Yo. shout out to uh, shout out to everybody in there. And then shout out to TRCE Network. I gucked with you guys for real. As soon as I as soon as break uh, my <coughs> no smoking fast for months, I'm gonna straight to Big Chief. Go look at the comments. What I told him in the comment. Aldo, go down. Put the reply. And everyone that's reply. Look what I told him. 
Come chief anytime. So, anyone that's up to us com- right now, this, back. yeah, this episode or you know any news, please go follow our Instagram too. You know what I mean? Six point eight, about yes, to hit seven k. Almost at seven k. Good shit. Let's go, gang. Hey, thank you, chiefers, man. I fuck with y'all. Yeah. Uh, stay big, chiefin. You know, stay big, chiefin. Peace. That was a dope episode. Llama, llama, red pajama, I feel alone with I'm a mama, uh-huh, uh-huh Baby, llama wanna drink, llama, llama at the sink, uh-huh, uh-huh